All right, in the far right corner in the red, the struggle nerd, he is. MVP King. He's wearing dirt around that command center. He needs to clean that. Jeez. It's gonna, we'll get to that point in a, in a second. In the center left, our Protoss player, one of the best Protoss players in the world, he is. Flair's Puzzle. You know, it's kind of sad, actually, the Keen situation, because uh, yesterday we were casting... Uh, no, was it yesterday? The Genius was yesterday. We cast no, Genius was uh, two days ago. Two days yesterday ago, right. was... Uh, we cast so many games, it actually could become a blur. But um, anyways, there were three MVP guys in that group. Yeah. And it's kind of fun to see all these teammates hanging out and having a good time and mm -hmm. talking trash to each other. And then it's like, Keen is like all alone. He's all alone, man. And he's not doing well. He's not doing well at all. Poor guy. Poor nerd. Well, I tell you who else wasn't doing well. Poor SC, who didn't make it through. What a sad yeah, that ride was home sad. for him. All right, so looks like we're going to have a Nexus first from Puzzle. Keen scouting right now. We'll scout it pretty quickly. You know, because uh, Korean doesn't have the z sound in it. Puzzle. So it's Puzzle, yeah. which is like the name of a cute fat pug. Pudgle. Pugs are so cute. Oh, dude. No, if, I, if I had a dog, I'd get a pug. Yeah, that's. it's always been one of my favorite. I want to get like an ugly one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of course, man. Of course. The uglier ones are cuter. Yeah, man. They're so much cuter. But uh, no, pugs are always like the dog breed I always wanted as a kid. I've always ended up with white fluffy dogs, but <laughs> what can I say? All right, so not a, I mean, Keen, why does this keep happening to me? Not as on my mind. Now, this is interesting. Puzzle did that well against uh, Keen that game, but against Terry, he's actually three wins and seven losses, so Ouch. that's 30%. I think a good portion of that came from uh, that round of eight. I believe he lost. Who did he lose to round of eight last season? Oh, why am I throwing myself on the spot right now? Uh, I can't think of who it is. Anyways, I think it was a Terran. Next, I'll be like, Artos is with 7 plus 8 for like on live TV. It's ah. like, oh, it's one of those rules. You're never supposed to do math on the spot on TV. You'll second guess yourself. You know what I do is I just I have confidence that I'll remember every match I've seen. So far tonight, I've done a good job, but that one, no. I just start the sentence and then see if it's with me by the end. And if not, I just talk about how dumb I am for asking myself. It's well, that's the trick. You see, uh, proof, you if know? you make fun of yourself before other people make fun of you, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Like I already said that. He already knows, man. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he, already, he already made fun of himself for that idiot. Why are you doing that? Yeah. And down goes the probe. Well, we have Keen playing very normally, adding his two racks and getting a couple gases while expanding. Uh, puzzle right now. So far, what we've seen from him, very standard uh, after his quick expansion. Where will he go from here? He is chrono boosting uh, Cybercore a little bit, but his Nexus a little bit as well. So it's not like some hardcore rush that he's going to follow up with. Would not be overly surprised to see something like a 4 gate. We'll see. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways you could take the game from here. Yeah, Nexus Proto. first transitions into kind of anything you really want. Yeah. You know, I, I like Nexus first into four gate builds. They're good. Well, three Marines are going to run in here and scout everything, I guess. This is a little bit weird. They're going to pick off some probes as well, no doubt. And, oh, slippery. Someone put bacon grease on those Marines, and they did end up dunks killing some probes. Dunks them in butter. Look at that. Five probes are killed this game. One was the scout. So four marines from the four uh, probes from those three marines. So that was actually that was pretty good and worthwhile. And he scouted what was going on. He saw three gates. He sees that warp gate isn't done. You know. He saw that both gases were taken in the main. That was actually a really good amount of scouting and good damage. I like that. I like you when people get value. I'm a value shopper in StarCraft. Buck. Yeah, man, that's what I that's what I want to see. I like value. Value. You look like saying like this is very funny about what you say. Value. Saying, I want value. <laughs> All right, this probe did sneak by. 
So it's a, just a great little way to get some extra scouting in there. Clearly, people that live on this base, fans of GSL, <laughs> as we pass by. Oh! Ah. Three gates into another Nexus. And you know, that's actually, that's fine. He's, I, I think he's going to have all his timings down to actually hold off the very standard play of Keen. You know, that's what P Protoss has seemed to be going for right now, is just holding off specifically what we're seeing from Keen. Just be as greedy as you can while being able to hold that off. The thing is, Keen doesn't really know what Puzzle's doing right now. He's already made two bunkers. He was making a turret and then canceled it, in fact. <laughs> now right. Twilight is on the way. So this one lone Stalker is here to scout. Stalker is one of the faster units in the game. <coughs> the saturation of puzzles way off, by the way. He has over. He has a super saturated uh, natural expansion, but his main isn't even at the low saturation. Of Ooh, 16. that's true. Yeah. So his his econ is a bit off right now. It definitely could be a lot stronger. He's adding five gates, and I'm sure that his his natural will transfer a ton of probes to his third. So. It will all balance out, but it could be a little bit better right now. In fact, he is sending some probes back to his main, so he realized that. So he's just going to go ahead and balance it right now. Charge on the way, I like that, because he is going into such a macro mode. He definitely needs to have, you know, if you're jumping up this much on uh, Econ, you can't really go into this much Econ and splash damage to deal with Metavacs, whether that be Colossus or that be uh, Psy Storm. So just getting a ton of charge lots to hold it off and then transitioning into splash damage, great way to go about it. So good choices by Puzzle here. Charge about halfway done, a little bit over half. Yep, not being chrono boosted right now. Yeah, he's, yeah, there we go. He all starts right. chrono boosting. He knows, he's like, all right, all I have to do right now is be ready for whatever attacks are coming, whether they're drops, whether it's a full frontal, whatever it is. And as Charge finishes, he's going to start feeling really good about himself. He's be like, I am a handsome Protoss. <laughs> My I Protoss just feel really, really good. good about myself. Yeah, and he should because oh, he's we a have a drop. Shape, man. So he's coming out now. Ooh, there are pylons out for puzzles, so he may yeah. end up seeing this. All right, he does not. No! What? Perfectly not seen until the last second. But he has charge lots there, so great play here by Puzzle. Holding off everything very well, and now a Temple Archive's on the way. And uh oh, we have oh, an engagement up yeah. here. Yeah, oh, sick moves by Puzzle here. Keen in so much trouble, losing that army and the medevac. And uh, the medevac. All right, he got it. Keen is making two command centers right now, and he started those before that happened. Uh, yeah, he wouldn't be doing that um, after <laughs> that, but... Well, he's got to catch up somehow anyways. I mean, this is this is not a good scenario for Keen. He is so far behind. 40 supply down. Losing that army was unacceptable. And Puzzle right now, I think he's going to hit a timing, you know. Uh, he's got a lot of gates, a good economy. He's killed off a big chunk of the army, and he's getting size storm. He's not even investing in Blink. He's not investing in any Observers. He's only now throwing up his first Forge. This, he, this is turning out to be the perfect situation for him to go and attack. The Ghost Academy, not done yet. He's going to, if he hits this just right, have Psy Storms before there's any Ghosts with the MP. Absolutely. This is beautiful. Yeah. Great play from him. Keen, um, again, his play style is so ambiguous. Well, like it's, it's, it's just solid and good, you know? Yeah, yeah. And again, that's really good for a long-term play. I mean, Keen is not going to disappear, I don't think, because he just keeps playing solidly and strongly. All right, we have another engagement here. We do have some medevacs coming across the map, though. Yep. And there they are. But Puzzle's kind of everywhere, man. He sees everything before it happens. And this is going to destroy the element of surprise here for uh, Puzzle. Or for Keen, excuse me. Yeah. For nada. <laughs> Both players are working on the rocks there for some time. Puzzle looks like he is going to go over and hit a little timing attack here. Well, you know, it, it's one of these situations where because he already killed up uh, one little chunk of the army, uh, and he sees another chunk is in his base, he realizes there must not be that much back home from Karen. Good defense right now by Puzzle. 
He has a ton of zealots up across the map. He has a good number of high templars. There is a ghost out. I can't seem to find it though. Um, I don't. I don't know where it I is. I actually don't see it. All right, he's going to go for the planetary. Interesting choice here, attacking the planetary with zealots. Yeah, the planetary uh, has SCVs repairing it. He needs to force field those SCVs off. Yeah, Is really interesting choice here, I have to say. Um, Whoa, and an EMP doing? lands on those two I Templars. So that was that was like the worst thing I've ever seen. A in my series life. of the worst choices that we've seen. That was so unbelievably painfully bad. Yeah, um, and we'll go over that more in just a second after we watch this get cleaned up. He's doing a good job, though. A lot of zealots being warped in to finally remove these Marines and Marauders. He's fly very close now, 147 to 166. So uh, Keen on the comeback trail. But uh, all right, let's go over why that was so terrible. Um, he had enough force fields. He could have force field the SCVs from repairing it, but he didn't. He just had his sentries attack. He had Psy Storms. He could have Psy Storm the SCVs to stop them repairing by killing them. He didn't. He could have Psy Storm behind his force fields on the army that was brushing up against it. He didn't. He just didn't do anything. He just attacked it, lost a ton of units, and then left. It was pretty painful. Just everything watch. about it didn't make any sense. And That's I mean, like one of those things. Like even if he was micro against that drop at home, no, no, that was that was just a, a terrible circumstance. All right, now he's going to hit this Ghost Academy. Oh wow! If he can kill that, that would be great. But I don't think he's going to be able to. No. He's like, oh, I'll try to get some Marines. Good it's try, like, though. Like, well, you got to. So, Keen is pretty much stabilized here. You know, he has four bases. He's He is down 20 supply right now, but that's all right. His upgrades are actually in the lead, I believe. Yeah, he is 1-1 one, one with 2-2 two, two on the way, and we only have 1-0 oh for Puzzle. Puzzle is getting 2-0. Oh. He still has four High Templars with his army with a lot of energy, but... There are a lot of ghosts out. We have three with Keen's army. So if he can get those EMPs off, uh, he should be able to win the battle with these upgrades. And he doesn't... One thing Keen does not want to do right now is attack. He wants to just sit here for a little bit and look oh, at that. Oh, she's not Beautiful. That. Yeah, that was... The Zolots use their charge against the factory, and then Keen is like, all right. Well, now you should what go and do that doing? again. Yeah, I don't know, man. Puzzle what is playing is really Puzzle weird. What the Puzzle doing, man? You know, Puzzle's not impressing me tonight so far. No. Nice. What, he there. doesn't even need to get in the factory. You know what I mean? I mean, the, factory, like the factory's actually screwing up the AI right now for yeah. the zealots. Well, he ends up killing it. And, oh, look at that. Most of the army is over there, and now he's going to have these zealots in here to do a little bit of harassment damage. <laughs> nice split up there. He is going to end up getting that armory, which is really nice. Yeah. It's going to slow down upgrades. Now going for the engineering, babe. <laughs> A lot of times when you kill something like that, the Terran player will forget and uh, not get more upgrades for quite yeah, some time. Yeah, because he's like, I'm not making doors, but that's not the reason. Yeah. Puzzle is taking more and more of the map, so even though he's done some sloppy things, I mean, his macro is undeniable. There uh, is only one base left on the main platform. There's two islands. Yeah. Which, I'll be surprised if they're... Yeah, taken. the islands are hard to take because you have to bring detection there and kill the creep tumor. So, I don't know if we'll see those taken this game or not. I haven't seen them taken at all yet in the GSL. Keen is moving out now. Oh, he's got to try to snipe that Templar. I love the switch into Colossus, by the way. Yeah, that's we do really not good. have any Vikings out. Right now we have one Viking out. So, those Colossi right now are very scary for Keen. He's got, and especially since attack upgrades is exactly what uh, Puzzle has been really trying to get. And oh my god, his army is split up. Oh, beautiful cloak ghost here. Oh, EMPing a lot of high Templars. Oh. Uh oh. He's really well done. The Templars. Really well done there. He should not engage still, though. Uh, too many Colossi in there. Even though he did a great job with EMPs, I still feel like that is not a good in place to engage. And so does Keen. Very smart play. Puzzle has done a great job actually uh, getting some defense up, by the way, at these all over the place. He's throwing up cannons. He's throwing up high Templars. In the meantime, we have Keen really getting into a macro mindset. Both players maxed out, getting a lot of production facilities. Well, looks like he's... Oh, oh man. Nice. That was pretty deadly. Beautiful. 
All right, he's now that uh, both players are officially maxed out. Mm -hmm. It's 199 or no, yeah, 200, 200. Nice drop here, picking off these high templars. Very well done. The hard part is when you're maxed out like this with Protoss, you can't warp stuff in wherever you want because yeah. you don't have a supply to. Sometimes smart Protosses will leave 10 supply open it's really because smart. they can warp in instantly and yeah. then block drops and stuff. And in fact, it would be smart right now for Puzzle to go ahead and get a Dark Shrine if he doesn't already have one. He doesn't. Uh, because warping those in DTs uh, in a situation like this to help with drops is very smart. Uh, but one thing I do want to point out is there is a fusion core on the way. And he has a lot of tech labs on his star ports, so it looks like he's going to go BCs. And you know what? If you actually end up going BCs and your opponent is still having a Zealot Colossus army, ouch. Ouch. But will it actually, I mean, can he just like attack and do an expansion after he loses that just to make stalkers and templars? And yeah, it matters how much bank there is and such. Yeah. Uh, but don't forget that, you know, marines and marauders can be very good against that. So, battle cruisers can be good against uh, Protoss if done correctly. Some nice EMPs going off there. Very nice EMPs so far. Ooh. Feedbacks. All right. A little bit of back and forth here. 3-3 three, three upgrades on the way for Keen. Puzzle right now at 2-1 with no upgrades on the way. I really wish he would get his upgrades going. He has so much bank. All right. More harassment here. A lot of Zealots being brought in. Just barely getting those Zealots out in time. Now he's moving up to the middle of the map where a planetary is going to be made. Nice storm. Another Whoa. one. Oh, six storms right there. Keen having a hard time, but he does have a lot of Vikings now. And the Vikings doing a great job. A lot of force fields left over here. He's going to lose all those Colossus. Mm. Puzzle's production, not quite as big as I kind of wish it was. Well, he has 19 warp gates, but he only has one row. Oh, no, he does have two robots. Never mind. Okay, so that's, that's pretty good. Now he's moving up to this expansion. Puzzle actually might have this. He's going up over here, taking out where the planetary would have been. Battlecruisers are on the way, but I think by the time the Battlecruisers are out... It uh, may be too late. Yeah, it might be just too late. Oh, good force field to slow this army down a bit. Oh, those Zealots, I don't know if those should actually be attacking right in that place, but they are going to do it anyways. The Vikings going to clean up some of these Colossi, and down goes the rest of Puzzle's army. Damn, this is a crazy game here. Yeah, it really is. More and more High Templars being brought into the fray by Puzzle, and are there any ghosts left? There are not! So these High Templars are going to be worth everything. But Battlecruisers have entered the field of play here. All right, there's just too much tear and stuff right now. And those Battlecruisers are going to be... By the way, oh that my expansion God. in the top Se center... Uh, 19 High Templars being warped in. I'm sorry Damn. to interrupt, but 19 High Templars that being warped in. crazy. Yes. Now, he did take out that expansion at the top center. Yes. It's not there. Yeah, he's, he's in some trouble with that, for sure. Yeah. But, uh, you know what? These Archons, this is so cool, man, that he made this many Archons. Uh, because there aren't a lot of ghosts out. There's two ghosts. So the Archon's going to be very, very powerful. If they're too clumped and the ghosts get a, the EMPs off perfectly on them, that's going to hurt. But it's a very Archon-based army. The Battlecruisers, don't forget, they deal a lot of damage to ground units. A lot, indeed. All right, here we go. Nice feedback there on them. the battle cruisers. Yeah, very well done there. And the Archon's trying to target them down. Good side storms all over Keen's army. Those were money side storms right there. That was perfect. And Keen looks like he barely does have enough to hold this off. And that is going to just. Two more Colossi come over here. Yeah. There are no Vikings present. It is now out of control. There's no way for Keen to take it from here, man. He is he is in too much trouble. The BCs are dead. His army is in shambles and. Puzzle is up 75 supply. So Puzzle uh, is going to have an opportunity to go up against Nada here. That was a close game until the very, very end. Pretty epic. Mm. Yeah, this this was actually quite a nice game. It was. I was happy with this. The BCs were neat. I don't know that it was the exact best time, but... Well, it was kind of an interesting thought, but it didn't really work out. All right, turning all those into uh, Archons. A little bit sloppy by Puzzle, but does not matter. Looks like yep. he does have enough here. A win is a win. Yep. He's got enough. His Colossi just cleaning everything up. You know, Keen just 
Never really used the Vikings right in the mid-game. Didn't really have them for a very long time. It was a kind of a surprising tech switch for him to see. He wasn't really expecting it, as you could tell, as he was not ready. Well, Puzzle made some big errors this game, but he actually, uh, overall, played pretty it well. A, it was a really good game overall, yeah. It looks like endgame puzzle sort of in his element. Yeah, he's well, he set up the map very well for himself, that's for sure. And, well, actually, he's going to hold off all this eventually, but he's losing way too much. He's at 4 to one supply. We're even going to, I mean, there's going to be a Nexus built over there. For all right, soon. well, Keen is just digesting the fact that he has been knocked all the way out of, yeah. uh, of this, and that's it. First GG. round of Code A, man. That's, that's hurtful for Keen, you know. An up-and-coming player, a very powerful player that's had great results, being dropped to the bottom of Code A. It has to be devastating. And there's a big difference out here between Code S and Code A, guys, as far as the play pro gamers think of it. It's hard to get through as well. Yeah, Code A doesn't get that much attention. Everyone watches it. Everyone knows who's in it and stuff like that. But Code S is where the manliest men punch stars together. That's what they do. Keen I mean, is devastating. Poor Keen. Well, Puzzle's got to be relieved now, but it's not over yet. He's going to have to go up against Nada. And Nada is always solid. Yeah. Oh, man, Keen's really bummed out about that. Mm -hmm. Understandably so. Indeed. Well, Puzzle against Nada, another TDP. The last one in the round of 32. One more player goes on to the round of 16. I am so excited. I'm going to be happy with either of these two guys going on. Yeah, I agree with you there. Yep. I never they're mind both, both good. having Nada being anywhere. And it, Puzzle is a Protoss that I really like to watch. He's spotty. Sometimes he looks like the best Protoss in the entire world. There are Sometimes parts of his play like, that are just perfect. Not Other so times, sure. not so much. Yeah. Guys, we're going to take a quick little five-minute break. But when we come back, we're going to have our final best of three. So please stay tuned. <laughs> Ain't got no money, don't know where to go. Just sit and 